created by gamers and for gamers, Recoil feels like a fast-paced first-person shooter that has what I believe to be an amazing feel of Counter-Strike combined with the newest updates and traits that you feel a competitive game should have. Plastic Piranha is the group of talented developers behind the game, and they consist of everyone from highly talented weapon artists to level designers. And you know they mean business because they have support of 505 Games, the publishers of the big hit, Payday 2. If you're looking for a game that supports either the run-and-gun style you love or the patience behind tactical setups, you found your new game to try. Today we're going to take a look at one of the standard assault rifles in any FPS and its role in recoil, the AK-47. In recoil, you can switch the firing style of the AK between single and fully auto. The clip size is the standard 30 most people are used to, and it can be used between both close and far ranges. The most notable difference with the gun in recoil opposed to in CSGO is the recoil pattern. A fully automatic spray of this gun pulls the bullets almost straight up with very limited left to right swaying. Crouching does improve the accuracy of this spray quite a bit, but no matter what, your bullets are going almost directly vertical with some mixed in spread. People are either going to love or hate this kind of difference, but I feel this mostly introduces some positive elements to the experience since it will remove that semi-randomness we all experience on a day-to-day -day basis and go. Here, you're exposed to raw talent and pure skill. No muss, no fuss. And what makes this aspect of the weapon's recoil much more understandable is that there's this noticeable reset period after you're done firing in which the gun slowly resets downwards to its initial firing position. In the first few minutes of my experience playing the game, I noticed this, and I found myself not just pulling down to compensate for the recoil, but then pushing up to aid that reset and restore my crosshair to the desired position. As mentioned, Recoil does utilize iron sights, which Go does not, but a lot of big titles do, like Call of Duty. This was helping me a ton with my long range fights, but it was getting me in a bit of trouble fighting close range against multiple opponents. Run and gun shooting while moving is pretty accurate, which makes me believe that the game could be extremely fast paced. The good thing here is that it's not like we're in Go where you can rush with P90s, but you can't necessarily do that as well with AKs. This advantage will exist for players cross classes. Again, you are offered to switch between fully auto and single fired shooting modes, which aren't particularly useful for me coming from a game where many of us practice tapping but it can be very useful for those extremely long-range encounters. You do move slower with the AK equipped than you do with your pistol or your knife, and the definitive sprinting speeds do actually vary on a weapon-to-weapon -weapon basis. Something new to me that's offered by Recoil is lean shooting, a feature that's included to help you peek those tight corners, but then quickly retreat. This plays almost no effect on the weapon's recoil though, so feel free to abuse it. Unlike in Global Offensive, damages and recoil are static and will not change based on the distance between you and your opponent. For example, the AK does roughly 44 damage to the body, so it will continuously do 44 damage at all ranges. One of my undeniably favorite aspects of recoil as a whole right off the bat is the ability to melee with any weapon equipped for all of those Killing quick machine. and frustrating too close for comfort encounters that we Killing all accidentally machine. fall into. You can save your bullets and whack them with your gun instead. One of the nice things too is that you don't have to stumble upon your weapon skins. Different layouts are available to you right after installing the game. So again, the biggest difference between the AK-47 in recoil and in global offensive is no doubt 100% the recoil pattern. Having your bullets go straight up opposed to swaying left and right as they climb is a little bit easier than what we're used to with Go, but factored in with that reset period and the potential for how fast paced this game can be and really wants to be at times, I'd hardly call the experience easy, and rather a fun and inviting challenge. I'm already a huge fan of the game, I love how daring the developers are getting with trying new things and incorporating what they want, they've really translated into a fun and inviting experience. And you can try it yourself. If you're a member on ESEA, you can grab yourself a beta key right now and give the game a go for yourself by following the instructions over at ESEA.net.